Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is October 7, 2022. We are in the New Testament, and we are in the book of Romans, and we're going to read chapter 2, verse 17, to chapter 3, verse 8 today. All right, so where is Paul in this letter to the Romans? Well, he we said he was talking to both Gentiles and Jews, and, and he kind of jumps back and forth. This part of this letter, he's talking straight to the Jews, and he's repeating that, that message that, that, that Jesus had with the Pharisees. Hey, you know what? Hey, it's not enough that you're doing the letter of the law. It's got to be what's in your heart. Just because you, know, you were born a Jew, that, that doesn't really count for anything. It's how, how are you acting? How are you treating other people? And then he starts to, to hint that, hey, you know what? The Gentiles didn't even have the law, and they know how to do good. And that, that's why they're getting grafted in. So, it, again, it's not that you follow the law. It's that you actually understand it, you're living it, you know what it means, you know that it's all for the glory of God. Let's go ahead and we're going to read Romans chapter 2, verse 17 to chapter 3, verse 8. You who call yourself Jews are relying on God's law, and you boast about your special relationship with Him. You know what He wants. You know what is right because you have been taught His law. You are convinced that you are a guide for the blind and a light for people who are lost in darkness. You think you can instruct the ignorant and teach children the ways of God, for you are certain that God's laws give you complete knowledge and truth. Well then, if you teach others, why don't you teach yourself? You tell others not to steal, but do you steal? You say it is wrong to commit adultery, but do you commit adultery? You condemn idolatry, but do you use items stolen from pagan temples? You are so proud of knowing the law, but you dishonor God by breaking it. No wonder the scriptures say the Gentiles blaspheme the name of God because of you. The Jewish ceremony of circumcision has value only if you obey God's law. But if you don't obey God's law, you are no better off than an uncircumcised Gentile. And if the Gentiles obey God's law, won't God declare them to be his own people? In fact, uncircumcised Gentiles who keep God's law will condemn you Jews who are circumcised and possess God's law but don't obey it. For you are not a true Jew just because you were born of Jewish parents or because you have gone through the ceremony of circumcision. No, a true Jew is one whose heart is right with God. And true circumcision is not merely obeying the letter of the law. Rather, it is a change of heart produced by the Spirit. And a person with a changed heart seeks praise from God, not from people. And what's the advantage of being a Jew? Is there any value in the ceremony of circumcision? Yes, there are great benefits. First of all, the Jews were entrusted with the whole revelation of God. True, some of them were unfaithful, but just because they were unfaithful does not mean God will be unfaithful? Of course not. Even if everyone else is a liar, God is true. As the scriptures say about him, you will be proved right in what you say, and you will win your case in court. But, some might say, our sinfulness serves a good purpose, for it helps people see how righteous God is. Isn't it unfair then for him to punish us? This is merely a human point of view. Of course not. If God were not entirely fair, how would he be qualified to judge the world? But, someone might still argue, how can God condemn me as a sinner if my dishonesty highlights his truthfulness and brings him more glory? And some people even slander us by claiming that we say the more we sin, the better it is. Those who say such things deserve to be condemned. May God bless the reading of his word. And may God bless you. Bye.